Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I have a video I made just for the sake of this song. The moment I heard it, it quickly became one of my favorites. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Now to take your attention away from this video for a moment. How many of you are aware of the new Scooby-Doo series that doesn't have Scooby-Doo? I'm referring to this abomination right here. This mistake that needs to be purged off of the face of the planet. These people have ruined a show that was there for most of my childhood. When I skimmed over the new show, I was like, pardon my language, what the fuck am I looking at? In memory of our dearly disgraced show, please comment, hey Scooby-Doo. Where are you? Down below. And if you haven't watched Scooby-Doo, you had no childhood. Moving on from my rantings. I honestly think this video came out okay. So without further rambling from me, let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy. In Mina's room, the girls are in the middle of a sleepover. Okay so Mina, truth or dare? I choose, truth. Do you have a crush on someone? Flushed. Wah well, well, yeah, I do. Really? Who is it? Excited at the discovery of new tea? That's two questions I believe. Cheeky smirk. You're no fun. Anyways, it's my turn now. So Momo, truth or dare? Him. I choose dare. That wasn't a good move. Don't make her do anything too absurd, Kiro. Yeah. You go overboard sometimes. Can I change my choice? Regretting her choice? Nope. It's too late now. So then Momo. Ye yes. Afraid of what she's going to say. I dare you to. Confess to your crush. Huh. I think I heard you wrong face. Mina, isn't that a bit much? Yeah, I agree with Jiro. She should be able to confess when she is ready to. That is, assuming that she has a crush on someone. I'm not jumping to conclusions, face. Oh she definitely does. Don't you Momo? I know your secrets, face. Wah well, well yes, I do. Well then get on with it girl. Go and get your man. Well, our relationship is a little complicated right now. I don't know what to say exactly. I would say being direct is the best choice Kiro. I don't think I can do that. Then why not do a lyric prank? A what? Boo. That's a good idea. You'll basically be expressing your emotions through a song. But through text. I see. And if they don't give a positive answer. You can just say that it was a lyric prank or it was a dare. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. But what song are you going to use? I have a song in mind, smiling face. Okay then, to the group chat. Wait so he's in our class. Yep. Now, take out your phones. In class 1A group chat. At everyone, who's online? What's up Mina? Hi. Smiling face. Hello. Hand waving. What's going on? I am here. Did you just use All Might's entrance in text? No. You must be imagining things, face. Is there something you need as for Mina? I'm not the one who needs anything. If you all could give your attention to Yamomo. She has something to say to a certain someone. What is it that you need to say Momo? Wah well. Sometimes, I wish that I could just quit. Wait what? I hope you are not planning to quit you a Momo. But then the other times, there's nobody better than this. Better than what now? I'm confused. I am too. Now. Just be patient. Even though you never listen. And you're always right. And I guess I would have never bit your time. Momo how can you say that you're not a fit for them if you've never even tried? Oh so this is a confession. Yes it is. But I don't know who she is talking about, Kiro. But I do. Trying to keep her excitement in check. You do. Yep. Smiling face. He's quite the hot and cool guy. Winking face. Dot dot dot. Except for that first night. The two kids under that moonlight. The eight McDonald's and the night. Became the best of friends. Did she friendzone him? Okay that's not good, poor guy, feels sorry for the guy, face. I think she meant they became friends after they met. Well that's better than being friendzoned. I don't think I follow. Don't worry about it either. 
Okay. Hold the phone. What the hell do you mean by, first time? Momo don't tell me you, blushing at the thought of what she's implying. Momo, what is the meaning of this? Why were you drinking? Here come the hand chops of justice. That is not how a UA hero, course student should behave. I am completely shocked. Me too. I was not expecting that from the class mom. Yeah, but when did she go to Barcelona? David Shield sponsored us a trip to the US as a thank you for saving I island. So she did that right under our noses. I'm shooketh, in complete and utter disbelief. Who knew Yamomo was such a bad girl, smirking face. So what do you have to say to this Todoroki? Huh, come on now, there's no need to be shy. Shy about what? How can you be this calm after what Momo said about you two? But, nothing like that happened between us. Huh, I didn't do anything with Yaoyo Rozu like she said. It must have been with someone else. What? Then if it's not you, who is she talking about? Sometimes, you say that I'm just too much. Deku Kun who said that to you? Dot dot dot. OMG. Realization hits. But then the other times, feels like I give you the word and I won't give up. It was Midoriya all along. I cannot believe it. Midobro is so manly, crying manly tears of joy. Ooh, I never listen, and I take too long. And I guess I would have never fit your song. I'm seeing it, but I can't believe it. You and me both sister. Except for that first night, the two kids are I was not expecting it to be Midoriya of all people. Yeah, these two are the least likely people for something like this to happen. So wait, they somehow got drunk and did it right. Seems that way, Hiro. But we were practically always together. When did this even happen? That's a good question. When did they manage to get away from us and get into this situation? Well I'm stumped. Todoroki, he was with me the whole time when we were in our room. I have no idea, and I was with Momo. I don't have an idea either. Midoriya you've been drinking too. This is unacceptable behavior from both of you. Angry Pomeranian came online. What the fuck is going on in here? Why am I getting so many message notifications from this chat? That's because we are discussing something important. Like what? Like the fact that Midoriya and Yaoyorazu slept with each other. Angry Pomeranian went offline. Dot dot dot. Well that was odd. Confused face. I guess he couldn't bear the thought that Midoriya got some before he did. I'd say you're right, tears of joy. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. When did these two get so close though? I don't think they did. Huh, there seems to be a story behind this. So we just need those two to explain. Except for that first night, with two kids under that moonlight. We ate McDonald's at midnight, became the best of friends. I remember our Mind blown. Okay, you're done. Explanation, now. Yeah, like, when did this even happen? As Todoroki said, 
It happened when we went on that little trip to America. But we all were together the whole time. You don't know about this since all of you were sleeping. Huh. It was on the day we had that sleepover in Mina and Toru's room. You all were sleeping. Okay. So how did things end up like they did? Kiro. Yeah. I thought you had a crush on Todoroki. I did feel something towards him, but I'm honestly not sure. And this happened when I was going for a walk in the city at night. I decided to go for a walk because I couldn't sleep. That's when Momo caught me and insisted that she came along. As class vice president, it is my duty to keep an eye on my classmates. I couldn't just let you go off on your own. So what happened after? Did you two really get drunk? Yeah. Embarrassed. Face. We had gotten to know each other better on our walk. It was a rather engaging conversation, smiling face. And because of that we lost track of time and got hungry. So we decided to have a snack at a nearby McDonald's. After that we returned to my room and continued our conversation. There was some wine in the minibar and I thought that it wouldn't hurt to have some. But that's underage drinking. Why would you do that, Yaoyorazu? I don't know. It just felt right. We were so engrossed in our conversation that we didn't notice that we were getting drunk. And so the conversation slowly got intimate and the rest just felt natural. So in our drunken state we just let go and let it happen. I'd say the right thing to say is that we were high off of each other. Do you guys regret it? I was extremely embarrassed, blushes at the thought of the memory. But no, same with me. I honestly can say that that night was the day I had the best sleep of my entire life. Who knew sleeping in someone's embrace was so, comfortable. Loving the thought of it. I have to agree, smiling face. That story was so manly. I felt like I was reading some kind of crazy love story you find on the internet. Same. But that was just beautiful, loving the tea. I know right. But there's, still one question that remains to be answered. And what's that? What is your answer to Momo's confession Midria? Just realized that Momo had confessed to him. I don't really know honestly. Are you okay with me Momo? I mean, I have been hoping to sleep with you again. Blushing at what she said she wanted to do. Not like that of course. Embarrassed by her misuse of words. It's a bit too soon for that. Well, I also enjoyed your company very much. So if you don't mind, I would love to go out with you, smiling face. I am happy that you accepted. Happy he accepted, face. I am happy for the two of you, Hiro. Okay now that that's done, I have some questions for Momo. Bye guys. Queen T went offline. Well that's my cue to go as well. We'll talk tomorrow Izuku. Smiling face. Okay. Smiling face. Class mom went offline. I kinda feel sorry for her. Don't worry Midoriya. I'll make sure that she doesn't go overboard. Thanks Jiro. Class 1A girls went offline. Alright boys. It's time for a celebration. A celebration for what? Of you getting a girlfriend of course. And losing your V-card. Smirking. Face. Flustered. Face. You guys don't have to. Yes we do. We need some drinks and some snacks. I have my father's credit card. They'll go and get the food. I'll come with. Ida. Shop that Ida is going along with having a party. You're actually okay with this. I mean. It is a Friday and I don't see the issue in a little celebration. Alright then, this party's going to be amazing. I'll bring some movies over, and I'll bring my console. Um, what about the others? They are probably sleeping, best not to disturb them. We can tell everyone else in the morning. Okay then, this is going to be the best sleepover party ever. Very excited, face. Everyone went offline. So what did you guys think? Give me your thoughts in the comments below. And as for what I will be making next. It will be a two-part, Izuku and Neji Ray story. The first part might take a little longer than usual due to the emotional build-up. But I'll try my best. Hope you guys eagerly await for this story. So that's all for today. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss the next and future videos. That's all I have to say. Until next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh.